Hello everyone and welcome to Oddball Aquatics. Welcome to my pond. Today we're actually going to do what might be considered an educational video, but <clears throat> let's see. It's really not because I'm just telling you what I did and I'm just a doofy chick with a camera and a bunch of fish tanks. So today we're going to talk about puffers and ick because that's what I'm dealing with. <clears throat> so let's get started. Look how sad this is. Oh my gosh. So I moved my group of puffers, Shadenti puffers, spotted Congo puffers. I moved them into this 40 gallon because they bred out in the 36 gallon. And I believe they got some stress ick. I'm not really sure what happened. I came home to find them like this one day. So temperature is at about 82. I'm cranking that up to 85 and I'm adding ick x. I like this stuff. I think it works really well. Um, other people use other things, Ruby Reef Kick Ick, Methylene Blue, all different kinds of things. I really like the Ick X. <clears throat> I just think it works well. So, directions for use, 5 millimeters, five milliliters per 10 gallons every day for 3 days, water change, 20%. That's what we're doing. We did it for 4 days. They look a lot better. Basically, that's all the advice I can give you on puffers with Ick. Just treat them. That's, I mean, there's not really much you can do. I cranked the temperature up and that helped a little bit, but they had to get hit with a med. It just, it had to happen. But now they're happy <clears throat> and they got about five more days before they're supposed to breed again. And the baby puffers are still alive and well in the 36 gallon. So I got to figure out if I'm moving the baby puffers so I can move the big puffers back or moving the big puffers somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, so that's Puffers and Ick, and now, for your viewing pleasure, I have Amber Menard escaping my new Blue Galaris tank. Um, and there's also a cameo from Everest in there, because nothing can happen in my house without this dog being involved. <clears throat> so, Amber has mixed all of the sands. She mixes many, many sands together, little tiny rocks and pebbles, to make something that looks really supernatural, which I absolutely love. And uh, then she's going to fill it with water. <clears throat> And I didn't time lapse all that because it's literally just a water line rising. So Amber wipes all the micro bubbles off of there. And then she grabs some plants from all over my plant room. Plant room, fish room, whatever. That wood didn't stink, so she didn't use it. Um, and then she stole some jungle val and some regular val and some wisteria and some crypts. And she started scaping away. <clears throat> And this was the day before we left for the big fish deal. So we decided to move the blue Galaris right before we left for the big fish deal. So literally we moved him and then got in the vehicle and left. So this is that morning when we moved him over. Tannins are real high. There's a little bit of a bacterial bloom, maybe, maybe. But looks really good. Blue Galaris seems happy. He's got much more room. And then... When I got back, it looked like this. This is what it looks like when I get back from Maryland. It's amazing. Clear. Super tannins. And next video, we're going to talk about this guy. This happened in Maryland with these fine folks, A&B Spartan Aquatics. But let's take a journey to uh, Columbus, Ohio, and look at some bloopers from my trip over there. Enjoy. Have a good day, guys. I would like it known that I'm not doing water changes right now. Steven's doing water changes, and Lucas is making my video unusable for YouTube. <laughs> this is my life. But that dog, I'm still in that dog. That dog's going on with me, because I'm in love. And I'm talking about the spotty one, not the one that looks a little bit like a sausage roll. Although she is adorable and sweet, too. I'd also like it to be known that Lucas is now doing the water changing. Steven is holding the hose. I am still doing nothing but would like to take a nap. So, this is fantastic and extremely satisfying watching someone else do water changes. Just, I, I just need y'all to know that. That's what's going down in Ohio. <laughs> 